PRISMA guidelines or PRISMA statement for systematic reviews and meta-analysis. Stay tuned and we'll talk about PRISMA. Hello, welcome back. I'm Dr. Hassan Dohid, and today we'll talk about PRISMA checklist, PRISMA guidelines, PRISMA statement for systematic reviews and meta-analysis. This name, PRISMA, must have scared you a lot, and that's why you're watching this video. You are scared. You don't know how to do it. I'm telling you, it's very, very easy. And that's why I'm here, to make things easier for you. PRISMA actually is nothing but a checklist. Remember, Prisma, the word Prisma stands for P-R-I-S-M-A, right? It stands for Preferred Reporting Items for Systematic Reviews and Meta-Analysis. I'll repeat again. Preferred Reporting Items for Systematic Reviews and Meta-Analysis. These are guidelines and the Prisma statement actually is the checklist. It's simply a checklist of 27 points. You follow those 27 points and write your review article according to those points and it will be a systematic review. That's it. So many people say systematic review writing is very difficult. No, you just follow Prisma checklist. It will become very easy for you. Look at the point one, two, three, four until the last point and make sure you have taken care of everything and your paper will become a systematic review. Or if it's a meta-analysis, because systematic review becomes meta-analysis, or if you already know this. If you are here, uh, by the way, then I, 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 I hope you know this. So I'm just letting you know that systematic reviews become meta-analysis. So yes, of course, you need the same checklist, Prisma checklist for a systematic review or meta-analysis. Now, why do we need it? And in which field do, you, do we need it? Mainly, most commonly, it is used for medicine, clinical field, healthcare industry, healthcare research, interventional research, but yes, other domains like engineering, economy. Nowadays, people from those fields are also using Prisma and it is producing wonderful papers for them as well. So yes, Prisma can be used for any field, and, uh, but most of the time it is used clinically. And if you see on Prisma website, they, they mention it uh, as, uh, as, a, as, as a tool for um, interventional studies. Now, let's talk about why do we need it. We need it to make a systematic review systematic because systematic review is a review that is systematic in nature. Why do we need to make it systematic? So that it becomes repeatable. This is what a systematic review is. A systematic review is a review article that is repeatable so that you repeat the same process again and again and get the same results. If anyone repeats the same process 10 years later, whatever you have done, they will get the same results. If anyone writes, a, uh, follows uh, your steps 20 years, 30 years down the line, they will get the exact same results. So that's the goal of systematic review, to make it systematic so that it becomes repeatable. Even after 100 years, if somebody sees your paper and follows the steps mentioned in your method section of your systematic review, they should get the same results. That's what systematic review is all about, to make your paper systematic. That's why we need Prisma. Prisma will help you make your paper systematic. So it's actually a reporting guideline, a reporting checklist. You report your report, yes, you report your report, you report your paper or your systematic review according to Prisma checklist to make it systematic. Now, some people use Prisma to check the quality of other systematic reviews. Can we do that? Yes, we may, we may not. Some people do it. But Prisma is designed to be a reporting guidelines, not a quality appraisal tool or quality assessment tool. So remember, Prisma is actually a reporting guideline for systematic reviews or meta-analysis with 27 points. They have a checklist. It's freely available on Google. Just go on the website of Prisma, download the checklist, follow the 27 steps, and your systematic review will become systematic. This is what a Prisma checklist is all about. Now, one more thing about Prisma is the Prisma flow diagram. Your paper will not be considered complete if you forget the Prisma flow diagram. So make sure you follow Prisma checklist, but also don't forget the Prisma flow diagram and the template for Prisma flow diagram, the four step uh, flow chart is also available on Prisma, uh, Prisma website for free. 
So go and download the Prisma Flow diagram as well and make sure your systematic review follows the steps, 27 steps of the checklist and it also has the Prisma Flow diagram filled. The flow chart of the diagram should be filled according to your data, according to your method. Once you do that, your systematic review will be completed. That's what Prisma is all about. See how easy it was. Watch the video again and take notes and keep learning and keep watching. Thank you.